Hey everybody, Galusia here, bringing you another Pokemon card opening, and today we're going to be doing another one of my Versus series, and today I have two of the Pikachu Shining Fates, and so it's going to be Shining Fates versus Battle Styles. I have two of the Urshifu V boxes as well. So we're going to be battling out these uh, two packs of each and see which comes out on top. Battle Styles or Shining Fates. I've never opened either of these collection boxes for Battle Styles. So I am going to take a quick moment to take a closer look at the uh, promo cards and whatnot. So if you're not interested in that, I would skip ahead about 60 seconds. What the heck? Okay, I did not know this about these Urshifus. I think I would have been more interested, actually, in picking these up had I known this ahead of time. So first of all, let's start with this. Let's just show the big card. I can't even, actually, I need to do the other camera to show the big card. Let's show the big card, which is just a copy a bigger version of the small card. And I do really like the art on that. That is a particularly cool looking card. Nice looking promo. And then it comes with an actual Battle Styles card, the reverse for the single strike energy, which I'm like 95% sure I already have that card. And here's the promo code for the single strike box. But what I didn't know is that there's actually only two packs of Battle Styles in here. So originally I was thinking this was going to be uh, kind of like a rematch to my last video because I did ETBs of Battle Styles versus Shining Fates. And that was a banger. If you missed that one, make sure you go back to it. Huge pools in that. But yeah, besides the two Battle Styles, which is what you can see on the front, there's a Darkness of Blaze, which I'm all for. I actually really like Darkness of Blaze, and I still have some chase cards in there. And then a Sun and Moon uh, Crimson Invasion, so that's super random because it's not even from this generation. It's a previous generation car, uh, pack, so that is super random. But it is, it's not about the Shining Fates versus the uh, Battle Styles. It's more to do with the boxes versus each other. So we're going to open all of them, and if we pull something really sick from Sun and Moon or whatever, then it is what it is. And we'll still consider the Urshifus the victors. So again, regular card, this time the Rapid Strike Energy Reverse, which again, I'm 95% sure that I have that already in my collection. I would imagine I do with all the things that I've opened for them. And again, here's your, your giant card, which is just a giant version of the normal card. I'm not sure which art I like more. I might like the Rapid Strike slightly more than the Single Strike. They're both really cool, though. I, I will say that they are both really cool. And then in, in terms of the packs, nothing changed there. So here's your code. So if you don't already follow me on my various social medias, I would definitely do that. The giveaway for these promo cards is most likely going to be happening on my Twitter. Links down in the description. Um, but you never know. I may end up doing it somewhere else. There's your promo card from that one. Let's get the other one open. Here's the other Pikachu V card for you. And we'll get into it. I think I'm going to start with... I like to alternate between the boxes. So I'll do a Shining Fates and then one from the other, Shining Fates, one from the other. But for the others, I think I'm going to start with the Sun and Moon. Because again, that's super random. So we're going to start with that. And if you guys enjoy... If you enjoy these uh, battle style videos, first of all, comment below and let me know what you think of these battle style videos if you enjoy you know pinning these different types of cards against each other 
but also head over to my TikTok because over on TikTok I do small versions of these battles all the time where I will do a single it's a really cute Pikachu card. I do Bunnelby is my reverse. Uh, I do single pack versus, so I would do like like this. I would do a Shining Fates versus a Battle Styles or whatever. Like I would just do one pack versus another pack, and I do those pretty frequently over there. And again, the link for that is down in my description. So here's our first Shining Fates. Wow, that is a really faded QR code. Good luck with that. You're probably going to have to type that one out. They faded the heck out of that QR code. All right, Shining Fates. Shining Fates rarely lets me down. Pretty consistently awesome. Still chasing the Charizard, though. That's the big one that we're chasing. I have a few chase cards. Hey, and the Bird Keeper's one of them. Look at that. That's how we start out. Boom. Trainer Full Art Bird Keeper. That is awesome. That is a great, great way to start out. I am digging that. All right. Well, the Pikachu V boxes are off to a really strong start. Your Shifu boxes are going to have to step up here. So here's our second and final Sun and Moon before we get back to the current generation. It's so funny that they had a previous generation in there mixed in randomly i understand mixing up the cards but i would have expected at the very least for everything to be you know of the current generation shells remoraid psychic memory is my reverse and a cacturn so nothing too crazy from the old generation can't believe that shining fates came out with that first pack magic and gave us a bird keeper that is really strong opener let's see what they do with pack two. Uh oh oh geez that's my rare look at that no, i know i did four i know for a fact i did four something's weird about this pack i know for a fact i did four and my rare card was the first one that's really weird I'm going to just put that there just so that the order of my cards isn't screwed up for when I go to organize them later. But that is really weird. I know for a fact I did four. There's no way I messed it up. That is bizarre. Well, <laughs> spoiler, that didn't, that didn't turn out. Right out the gate, we saw a Celebi. And if you see a Celebi, it's not very likely that that's going to work out. Okay, so... Darkness of Blaze this time. Now we're getting into the Darkness of Blaze from the Urshifu boxes. Urshifu. Urshifu. All right. Glimwood. Parasect. Marip. Snubble. Taurus. Rookity. Mr. Mime. My reverse is a Arctazalt and. A Dharma, a Dharmia Tayan, Dharma, Darmanitan, Darmanitan, Darmanitan. Whew. Some of these Pokemon names are a mouthful. Make sure I edit that out. All right. Not a Shining Fates code in your face. Only one card so far worthy of the back wall. We need to step this up. Let's go, Shining Fates. Give us another win on this pack. Right here. Uh, <laughs> Reshiram. Guy pulled more Reshirams than anything. It's ridiculous how many of these I've actually pulled. I said it in the last video. Spoiler. I pulled a Reshiram in the last video. Uh, that you should, again, definitely go back and watch. It seems like every time I open a fair amount of Shining Fate card, like, as long as I'm opening at least, like, six or eight packs, I pull an amazing rare 
Reshiram. So I feel like it's not a very rare card at all. I feel like it's just as rare as a normal rare. It's like ridiculous. I almost don't even feel like putting it on the back wall. I'm going to count it. I'm going to count it as a point, but I really almost don't feel like counting it because I've pulled so many of them at this point that it honestly feels ridiculous. It's like, I don't know. Like, what do you do with all of them? I have like a collection of them. Okay, Starly Reverse. And a Delcaddy. So, nothing too crazy from the Battle Styles. Or, Battle Styles. From the uh, Darkness of Blaze. So, we're going to do another Shining Fates. But then we have four packs of Battle Styles. So, it really is going to come down to the Battle Styles for them to get a win. Because so far, nothing... Nothing at all from the Urshifu boxes worthy of the back wall. They are just falling flat on their face. But we'll see what happens after this Shining Fates pack. There we go. Rusted Sword Reverse and an Indeedy. Hollow. Hollow. All right. First battle styles. We got really good luck with our first Shining Fates. Maybe maybe all those filler packs were just that. And the first Battle Styles is going to kick us off. I mean, it, so far it's not... It's anyone's game. Shining... We've pulled no Shining cards, first of all. And that's a huge L. If you're going to open a bunch of Shining Fate pack, you need to pull something Shiny. Okay. Pig Knight Reverse and a Colossal. Is how we're going to kick things off. Which isn't the worst. I like the pig card because it's like the secret to the background of the Tyranitar after the buffet. It's like that same card but from a different camera angle. So that's kind of fun. Tells a story. Shining Fates. Yeah, anyone's game. With there being only two Shining Fate cards on the back wall. But yeah, I feel like if I get almost anything of value from Battle Styles, it's almost an L for Shining Face just because I haven't gotten anything shiny. The Bird Keeper is carrying them, obviously. But how do you... You can't open eight packs of Shining Fates and not get a single shiny card. Frost Moth. Hello. Holy heck, this... Uh, code card has seen better days. The, the corner on that was... Bent to heck. Thank goodness it was just the code card and not the cards within. Yucatone, Zubat, Remoraid, Onyx, Fan of Waves, Reverse, and a Flapple V. So that puts the Urshifu on the Urshifu con collection boxes are officially on the board. And considering how common the Reshiram is, I would consider the Flapple V at least of equal value. So the Bird Keeper is really carrying it for them right now. Shining Fates, if they want to seal the deal, they're going to have to find some pretty strong cards. Of course, with Shining Fates, if we pull a Charizard, that's an automatic win for Shining Fates, and if we pull the Tyranitar V after the Buffet for Battle Styles, that's an automatic win for the Urshifu V boxes. Rusted Sword Reverse, and a Celebi. Man, these Shining Fates are just tanking right now. Really hit or miss. You know, it's, it's different when you buy like a, a whole box of cards or something like that. You know you're going to get a certain amount of ultra rares or whatever. Uh, secret rares, all that good stuff. But when you're buying collection boxes, like the ones that I'm using as my background uh, for the, the Pikachu ones, it, it's really, it really is hit or miss. You could get, all, all four packs could be dynamite. And all four packs could be losers. Like it, it, it is a little bit more random what cards are being or what packs are being placed into the boxes i feel there we go tapu coco tapu coco v max so we have another strong card for battle styles and i feel like we're 
almost tied at this point. You can make an argument either way. I don't want to lean the jury. I want you guys to be able to comment below. However, he said as he leans the jury, I still feel like Shining Fates has the lead in some regards. I mean, like, if I had to pick between the Bird Keeper and the Tapu Koko VMAX, I'd rather have the Bird Keeper, especially because I already have the Tapu Koko VMAX card, so that's not actually new to me. But even if it was new to me, I still feel like the Bird Keeper is a stronger card. However, I once again stand by my statement that if you're going to open eight packs of Shining Fate cards and you don't pull a single Shiny... Whoa! I have a ridge on this. Can, yeah, you can see that on camera. Look at that. That is an error card right there. I have a strong ridge printed right through the cards. That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to set that aside. <laughs> Error cards like that are fun. It's not a misprint. Misprints can actually... <laughs> well, there's the Alchemy. I have gotten so many of these Alchemy VMAXs. It's ridiculous. So it's a Rainbow Rare. It's the only Rainbow Rare of Shining Face. There's only one secret card in the whole thing. I've That's probably my fifth or sixth one that I've pulled, though. So they're not, they're not stupid uncommon. It's not ridiculously rare. And I'm going to set aside this Glossifer because that is actually pretty funny how it's printed in. I'm going to actually save that. Again, it's not, if it's a misprint, it can actually hold some value. There's people out there that collect misprints. Like if it's a really bad misprint, like where it like went through at an angle on the printing press or something like that. But even just a cut like that makes the card, it's interesting. I mean, how many Glossifers? do you think I've pulled for Shining Fates? I, I've, I've probably pulled at least 20. At least 20 Glossifers from that. Just just from that. Easily. So, to ha so it's obviously a tremendously common card. But having a ridge printed into it suddenly makes it not common, right? Like how many cards are you going to find? How many Glossifers are you going to find with the pack ridge? embosomed across the top okay last pack for battle styles a lot riding on this pack at this point i feel like it's an l for for the or shifu v's unless they can pull out some pretty sick cards so we got a victor bell reverse which at least it's a rare reverse and then a marowak behind it not looking too good for battle styles i think most people at this point would say shining fates is the winner and we still have one more Shiny Fate pack to open. So let's just get into it and seal the deal. Could you imagine if we pulled the Charizard? That would... <laughs> it's already definite. I, I really feel like, I feel like this is a W for Shining Fates. But, I mean, nothing would seal the deal more than the Charizard. I got a double pull there with a Trap Pinch. Coughing, more Peko, Horsey, Lucifer, Reverse, and a Cramorant V. So at least we did get another, you know, it's not a tremendously rare card, but it is a special card. So once again, Shining Fate stepped up. However, we literally got every type of card that you can get from Shining Fates that is, you know, a rarer card or whatever without getting a Shiny. It's literally called Shining Fates. It's in the name. Because we got the Trainer Full Art, right? We got an Amazing Rare. We got the one and only Rainbow Secret Rare. And we got a V. The only thing that we technically didn't get is a regular VMAX. We got the Secret Rare VMAX, though. No Shinies. But four cards of note which definitely separates them as opposed to just the two cards of note. And both of these were from Battle Styles. Let's not forget that we had Sun and Moon and we also had some Darkness of Blaze cards that literally yielded nothing of note. So I think it's pretty obvious uh, who won that battle, but I would still like you to comment below. And I mean, I think at this point we know who won, but you can still comment below and let me know what your favorite pool was. Uh, out of all the cards that we pulled. 
Um, mine was probably still the Bird Keeper. That, the very first good card that we got is probably the best for me, uh, especially since I don't have it yet. That's a good addition to my collection. But thanks, everybody, for coming out. I appreciate the view and support as always, and I will see you in the next one.